Did you see Joe Biden met with President Trump? And I want to get your initial reaction. Tell me this doesn't look like the happiest guy in the world to meet Donald Trump. Sot number one. Look at that. Okay, see, see, you see? Okay, that? okay. Well, y'all look at that one there. Y'all look right there. Pal, you look at that one. That's Trump looks happy, Biden looks happy. Look at Biden, he's just smiling. Like, <laughs> he looks like he's frozen with fear. I think he's excited to meet Trump. I think he's bummed. He's so happy that Trump won because he hates Kamala Harris. I can decide to tell you. I think he looks like a deer in the headlights. He looks like he's about to get hit by a, a fast moving truck. Yeah, what is this? This clip is pretty good clip, just of her the whole time. And uh, yeah, so that was uh, Joe. And then what do we have? Full screen. Oh, number one. Look at this. This is what his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, wore when she went to vote. Now, if you had to guess, who do you think she voted for wearing that on Election Day in Washington, D.C.? Definitely Kamala Harris. I was thinking Jill Stein. <laughs> wow, okay. I, you guys are funny because I didn't think any of those uh, characters. I thought for sure that is MAGA red that is, Donald That Trump. is literally the same color as the hat. It's the same. She might as well have the damn hat on. Like, she looks like she's about to storm the Capitol. I mean, if you just kind of look at her, she does look like a January 6er right there that's protesting a fraudulent election. So, yeah, well, I think a lot of the boomers wear this stupid ass coat. And it's like, it gives, it gives off a, a girl power kind of vibe. It's, it's like. It's a pantsuit. You don't like the pantsuit, Greg? Nah, nah, I don't think. I think it's like a poser. Well, what do you like? A feminine dress woman? Like, is that too masculine? Is that why you don't like uh, it? No, nah, I just think that, you know, these people in like the upper class housing, you know, they yeah. just have so much to prove. I feel like that that coat just says. She is the feminist. first lady, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah I mean, she kind of had. Like, could you imagine if she dressed like us? She would get crushed. Uh, <laughs> So I don't know. I don't hate the I don't hate the suit. I kind of like the pants suit. Sometimes the pants suit, even though my baby prepaid wireless would never wear something gross like that. What about you, pal? Would your lady wear something like that pants suit? Uh, is she the first lady? <laughs> yes, you are the president. She's the <laughs> okay, then if she's the first lady, she better be wearing like, dude. I don't know. Not a pants suit. That she like Hillary Clinton tried it, and then Kamala tried it. They're 0 for two on it. Give it up. You're gonna ruin my campaign if I'm trying to re like re get reelected. So what does she wear? A mini skirt? She wear a thong? I think I think this I think like definitely like um, cheerleader outfit. Now that, that I could get with behind. my campaign's colors on it. Dude, that's the number one cheerleader. Your wife and then yeah. she's the first lady. That actually makes a lot of sense. I see you guys are creative as hell. Now, did you guys see this? Tulsi Gabbard got nominated. Oh, well, she got nominated as what is this? Did she get well, nominated? Well, we got we got to do full screen two first. She's, she's in charge of. Oh, go to full screen two. Oh, yeah, director. I can't national. hear you, Jimmy. I don't have a earpiece. Uh, this is Donald Trump wearing a MAGA hat. This That's is Donald probably, Trump wearing a MAGA excuse hat. Excuse me, that is, uh, <laughs> that is Joe Biden wearing Donald Trump's MAGA hat. I'm distracted because I can't hear Jimmy, so I'm kind of hearing him over there. But not important. What is important is I think it's obvious whose side Joe Biden was in this 2024 election. Like, how could he not be voting for Trump? He doesn't like Kamala. And Joe Biden's friends with David Duke, who was a white supremacist, so maybe he doesn't like Indonesian and African Americans. You guys, what do you guys think about that conspiracy? Uh, I don't know anything about that. All I know is that uh, Kamala feels like she's trying way too hard. And I'm not a big fan of, fan of Trump either, but it's like... You better be what? a fan of Trump. He's about to make gas prices way cheaper, dude. <laughs> I'm just saying they're both feel like they're trying way too hard. But at least Trump seems like he's trying to chill with it, whereas Kamala is like trying so hard to appeal to like know, certain call demographics. Her daddy and all that stuff. She sucks, but... <laughs> So refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself 